Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, WeatherTech, Hum by Verizon, RockAuto.com, and State Farm. Outside of Asheville, North Carolina, we're driving a 2015 EcoBoost Ford Mustang with more power than its V8 counterpart. That's thanks to a bigger turbo and this secret weapon from Borg Warner. The E-Booster is a separate all-electric compressor that forces the exhaust-fed turbo to spool faster, which gives you near instant power. Think of it as a mechanical supercharger for the low RPMs, or maybe a twin turbo setup where one smaller turbo spools the bigger one. This Mustang is a demo car to prove what this e-booster could do in an aftermarket application. But don't whip out your credit card just yet. This is the only one running around, for now. Our first OEM launch is going to be with the Mercedes-Benz S-Class uh, in the coming model year. It's something we're really excited about. It's going to uh, allow us to, uh, to give the customer the drivability of a much larger engine and a much smaller, uh, more fuel-efficient package. So as opposed to a regular supercharger, this one is not you know, using the engine, therefore we're not losing any power. Yeah, exactly. This is a small electric motor. This one's five kilowatts. Um, it spins to a peak speed of around 70,000 RPM. And since it's electric, we can mount it wherever and we can uh, activate it on demand. So it really is boost on demand. The e-booster pushes seven PSI into the engine. With air added instantaneously, more fuel is burning, which means more energy for the big turbine to do its thing. And it's no secret you can put a larger turbocharger on a, on a small engine to make, to make big power numbers. Hot Rider's been doing that for ages. But when you do that, you lose the low end torque and throttle response that, that most drivers demand. The e-booster is active only for a few short seconds until the turbo catches up. This 48 volt system uses a battery the size of a shoebox, and it can recharge during mild brake regeneration. There's a whole bunch of gearheads that, uh, that work in Borg Warner and definitely in the turbo systems business unit. We'd all love to see this come to the aftermarket because I think we all have a project car we'd like to see it on. F1 cars use a similar system. Hobbyists have tried for years to combat the problem of turbo lag. So right there, it took a little bit for the turbo to spool up and really kick in. Yeah, you get the classic big turbo power band. As soon as it takes off, you're going like a slingshot. But before that, you're kind of waiting. Turn it on, and it pulls and pulls from the get-go. Say you're in a cruising gear on the highway. Normally, you'd have to downshift or wait. Here, the e-booster cuts the time and torque in half. This car makes 410 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque yet it still exceeds the stock torque curve at all engine speeds. Like the V8, the power feels linear and delivery is smooth. But we've taken a 2.3 liter and made it have the same power as a V8. Not only the same power, really, we've made it have 40% more torque and 15% more top end power while maintaining that 30% better fuel economy of the four cylinder. Located after the intercooler, the booster receives cooler, denser air. And once it's done its job, a valve closes and all that air is filtered to the turbo. I gotta admit, I was a little bit skeptical when I first heard about this, but it is the real deal. And whether you're a car person or not, you will feel the difference. Best of both worlds, power and fuel economy. 